Hey everybody, it's Marco, and today I'm currently on the PTR for 7.2.5, and it looks like we're going to be getting our new heirlooms that scale to 110. So, if you haven't leveled your alts, I would just postpone it until, <laughs> until this comes out. I mean, if you waited this long, you may as well wait a little longer, am I right? But anyways, when you get here, it's going to have the old tokens, and then one new token, which allows the you have to have the previous ones like before so both of these have to be on the item before this one will take its effect but it will scale it from 100 to 110 and there's also two new heirlooms um, kind of different it's the flight paths for Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor so when you use these items it unlocks all the flight paths on all your alts so you won't have to run to the location or do anything of that sort you just pay 15k and permanently have all flight paths unlocked so it works both the Alliance and Horde so when you use one of them it unlocks the Horde variant as you see it gave me this which is unlock the alliance fly pass around the eastern kingdoms and it also gave me this teaches the horde fly pass around the eastern kingdoms so both of them are unlocked you don't have to pay 15k 15k and then on the horde pay 15k 15k it's just one shot um so it's 30k total for all fly pass oh, yeah. eastern kingdoms and Galmdor. i think it's a good investment you know that's it's kind of annoying when you had to run around stuff but up to you I mean, it's just nice to have it, I think. Now, as for the scaling, the items go from 100 to 110, and their item level cap is 800. So, honestly, with heirloom weapons, unless they boost this, I, I don't really see any point in you going ahead and buying this one. I'm just, just being honest. Because... The, if if maybe the heirloom weapon gave XP bonus too, I'd make a little sense. But since it doesn't, there's like zero reason to go ahead and invest in this. Because a lot of times you're going to make it over 800 item level with the relics they give you while leveling. Um, sure, maybe it'll be a couple item levels higher temporarily while you're getting relics. But, you know, not really. Because... Um, when you're finishing the last zones, like when you're around, let's say, 108 or 109, the relics you're getting are um, about 20 item levels and stuff. So you're going to get um, three of those roughly by the time you hit 110, and that's going to put you just over 800. So I really just, I don't see a lot of point in investing in the weapons unless they boost the item level of them. But it's up to you again. I'm just giving you my thoughts. Um, that also means the gear is going to scale to 800. Of course, this is really good because, you know, most of the crap you're wearing is going to be, except for the zone finishing items, you get 800 item level zone finishers. So all the other stuff is going to be 800 item level too. I mean, that's really good. Definitely the gear is useful. Weapons, not so much. So anyways, with 7.2.5, you're going to be having 110 BOAs. So really, really nice. We also get the flight path things. I think that's really, really cool. So that's it for it, though. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.